Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, this week I want to talk about duplicate and copy. They seem very simple, but sometimes we forget that they're there. So let's look and see what I'm talking about. If I go into Designs, and or my library, excuse me, I'm going to go to May of 2019 so I clicked my free monthly designs then I clicked May and then I highlighted 2000, May 2019 and then I just hover over my design window and these of course are our free May designs really really cute designs but I'm gonna just grab this flower right here I love this flower so and this of course I mean, we look at how they created it. They put a fill and offset it, so it looks pretty cool, I think. So, but let's talk about copying and pasting. Number one, whenever I bring a design in, drag it in from my library, this design is grouped. So no matter where I click, I'm going to get everything. Now, I can leave it group and still work with one segment as long as I pick it in the segment view. So I could pick that flower, this flower, you get the thing, I can pick them one at a time. And if I pick this in here and I select it, I have just selected that portion. But I would have to select it in my segment view or I can select it, right mouse click on it and I can ungroup it or I could have used the ungroup icon here at the top. I'm going to group it back for a moment. So we're grouped again. Now what I want to do is I'm going to come down and I'm going to select just the black outline. Now with only that selected, and I know it's selected because it's in my pink because I've set that as my highlight color, I'm going to right mouse click copy, right mouse click paste, and I am going to get an exact copy right on top of itself. And sometimes if we don't move that copy immediately, because it's right on top of itself, we think, oh shoot, I didn't get it. And we may copy and paste it till we have a brick uh, stitching. So always grab it and pull it off so you can see. So now I have an exact copy, so I've copied and pasted. Now if I just right mouse click again and paste again, it's going to paste right over the original. So it will go in the original, uh, 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 I'm sorry, on top of the original design. Now, so this is just copy and paste. And I can paste as many times as I want. And so if I wanted to take one of these little flowers and I wanted to paste it 20 times, I could copy it once and continue to paste but I would always have to pull it off of the original. So that's copy and paste. And that's pretty simple and most of us get that. But just in case, because we do get new people all the time, I'm going to bring the same design in on the next page. Now here what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and leave it grouped again. And I'm going to grab that same outline. Only this time, instead of copying and pasting, I'm going to come right up to this icon right here between our fit hoop and our create outlines. There is a duplicate. Now I'm going to left mouse click on it and it looks like nothing has happened. But notice my cursor is no longer an arrow. Let me undo. Oops, let me redo and get our design back. Notice if I select, when I go to select, I want to get completely away from this. When you have a select icon, notice I have an arrow. So when I have an arrow, I can select. Now once it's selected, I still have this arrow. You notice my cursor is an arrow. Now when I come up and go to duplicate, the duplicate icon is no longer available but I no longer have an arrow either. I just have a crosshair. Now what duplicate does is if I just simply left mouse click, it's going to give me an exact copy, okay, an exact duplicate. Notice I still have my cursor. 
it doesn't look like a an arrow. It looks like that crosshair. So if I left mouse click, there it is again. Now I have not done anything, so they're identical. They're a perfect copy. That keeps me, I like that because a lot of times that keeps me from making the mistake of stacking them up. But duplicate has so much more. If I hold down my left mouse button and I don't click it, I just hold it down and I drag, I can drag this to whatever size I want it. So I like this outline and I might want to just put this um, run stitch outline on something rather than having all this um, color behind it. And what I like to do is I like to take these outlines, stitch them out on either white fabric or as Trevor Conker Good does a lot of time, if you put it on rag paper, then these are neat little things that I can give to my grandkids to embroider. And then I have fun with their artwork. If I do it on fabric, I can put them together in a little quilt or a little table topper. But with this pay, with this duplicate, notice I've still got it. I haven't lost it. I can also rotate at the same time. So not only can I copy, resize, paste, I can rotate. And this is all in one action. And sometimes we forget these tools are here. So I could let this go. I could come in. I could get rid of my, go to my select key. I no longer have the duplicate option here. And I'm just going to come over to my sequence view. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to collapse all. I'm going to come up here and close my properties. And I'm going to select my color up here, holding my shift key. I'm going to select the rest of my color. And I am going to delete those. So now all I have is just the outlines. So I've taken a design, pulled the outline off. I've copied it, made exact pastes. Then I have duplicated it and done the same as far as exact, but they're not right on top of. Then I have resized and rotated. This is a, just an easy tool to play with, but it really does have a lot of power when you think about how much you can do with a simple icon, one-click wonder, with duplicate. So you can have a lot of fun with this. Get your outlines out of designs, have your grandkids color them, play with them. This kind of stuff is a lot of fun, and it gives you something that makes a fun memory forever. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's brief project of the week on copy, paste, and don't forget our duplicate icon. I hope you enjoyed this quick little lesson. I look forward to seeing you next week.